Today I will be repainting a neck suit from the Star Wars film franchise. My friend Sea Dragon Store invited me to collab with her in making a custom of a creature from Star Wars. She made a really cute tauntaun. I will leave links to her Instagram and YouTube channel in the description box below so that you can go check out her work. The next who appears in episode 2 when Padme is on the pillar and it slashes her back and then she swings around and kicks it. It's like a feral Cheshire cat with a rat tail. I chose the Nexu because it's a cat-like creature with four red eyes, a wide mouth, and a flat head, and I really wanted to make that crazy mouth on a doll, so let's get right into it. I'm using Katrine Demieux from Monster High for the base. I start by removing her hair with an electric shaver. Next, I submerge the head into hot water so that it's easy to take the head off and also remove the hair from inside. The factory paint wipes away with 100% acetone. The Nexu has a bifurcated tail, so I'm cutting off about half of the tail to modify it. I drill a hole into the middle and then embed wires inside. I secure the wires in place with super glue. I mixed up two part epoxy and began laying down clay over the tail. I use water to smooth it out. I'm using a blade to texture the tail. I lay down clay over top of both wires. For the claw mods, I add three spherical shapes of clay over the toes and then shape them. Using the end of a paintbrush, I create crevices for the nails. After putting the claws in place and letting it set, I dremel the claws to refine the shape. If you're doing this, you definitely need a good quality desk mask. Now that the claws are done, I dremel the body. I remove the molded on lettering and the seam lines. I also refine the tail ends with the Dremel. The body is now washed and free of dust and also has a layer of sealant so now it's time to start painting the body. I use soft pastel to create stripes as a base layer. I'm making up the stripe pattern as I go along, looking at a photo of a Nexu for reference. While I'm striping her body, I just wanted to say thanks to the new subscribers who have joined my channel. 
The reason why there's been a gap in videos is because I had to take a hiatus due to being unable to use my hands for a while. In the very beginning of this year, I started to have difficulty with things like writing, holding a pen, and bending my fingers. I've missed being able to do what I love, which is making doll art and posting videos, and I'm very glad to say that I'm able to return to making art once again. Thank you for sticking by me during my break, and I have a lot to catch up on, so buckle up, it's going to be an eventful rest of the year. I'm going over the soft pastel with pencil, creating hair strokes. I add soft pastel to the claws for shading. I use a combination of white chalk pencil, white gel pen, and acrylic paint to add a layer of white hair strokes over the black strokes. I swapped out her original hands for Rochelle's hands because I have another use for Katrine's hands and Rochelle's hands worked out great. To give the illusion of a slightly longer nail, I'm painting it a little bit higher than where the nail mold starts. The tail gets a peach coat of acrylic paint followed by a wash of red gouache at the base and tips. Last, the body and tail get a coat of matte varnish for durability. And now for what is always my favorite part, the face up. I always thought the Nexu had ears before this collab, but no, there's definitely no visible ears, so those are getting cut off. I start by tracing the shape of the mouth in a light blue pencil. I start with a light color in case I need to erase it. The light outline serves as a guide. I fill in where the mouth is in blue soft pastel.
I trace around the mouth in a maroon pencil to begin to define the lips. And here is a reminder of what our friend looks like. It's important to have your reference photo near you when you're working and to be checking back on it frequently. I start making teeth using chalk pencil. I use blue pencil to add highlights to the gum line. I add a white line at the bottom of each eye and slightly smudge it out. Next, I add eye shines using a gel pen. I add yellow shading to the teeth and the face is done, or so I thought at the time. I added yarn wefts for hair, which are brushed out acrylic yarn straightened with a flat iron in a blend of white and gray. After I added her hair, the lower lip on her face mold started to bother me just a little bit, especially when she is viewed in profile. I wanted to leave the face mold as is, being inspired by SFX Illusion Makeup, instead of doing a face modification to her original mold, but I decided to modify her just a little bit to reduce the poutiness of her lower lip, giving her a profile that sells the illusion better. I did this off camera because I had her right up to my face and was being extremely careful not to ruin the work that I had just done. I took a very small and sharp blade and removed the bulk of the lower lip. Ideally this would have been done before the face up and not after, but that's hindsight for you. Now that my perfectionism is happier, I move on to making her outfit. I use watered down acrylic paint to add a bluish gray color to the clothes to give them more depth. Since the Nexu is a somewhat obscure Star Wars creature that only the diehard fans would know, I decided to give her a more recognizably Star Wars looking outfit. She has an obi, which is attached to a wraparound skirt, along with a tabard. I give her a leather belt and her outfit is finished. I'm leaving her hair down and wispy. Let's see the final reveal. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like also if you like Star Wars and leave a comment letting me know if you would like to see any future Star Wars customs. 
Be sure to click the bell icon so that you never miss an upload. Follow me on Instagram, which is linked below. And if you would like to further support this channel and my art, a link to my Ko-fi is down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!